Angeles Dodgers taking on the Houston Astros. And now, your 2027. And we'll be back with the first Houston pitch right after this. Astros. Now the big time power threat, Nigel Beal. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Come on, buddy. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And the right hander deals. And now two and nothing. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why getting ahead and counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. Two down, nobody on. Fought off foul. Way inside, gets out of the way. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Looked like a questionable call in that spot. He even seemed a little surprised it went his way at the plate. But as a hitter, you'll take that all day. Come on, and a ball and two strikes. Swings through it for the K. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. One left for L.A. Now here come the Astros. No score. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bond. Not in time. Yeah, An infield there. knock to start the inning. Tremendous stop right exactly. there. Impressive. Exactly. Just a little tardy. Oh, on. Ball one, no strikes. Beal measures six feet, four inches. Hitting third in the lineup. He joined the team as... Here's a 1-1. And another ball. And a ground ball to first. Can't glove it cleanly, but they get the out at first, and that'll do it for the inning. So the Dodgers leave one. And a 1-2. Yeah, the one two misses to even the count. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. In the dirt, Lee whips it to first. Now one gone in the top of the six. Bogey just ran up. The one two. Battling here as he fouls it away. Punch out there, and he's down on strikes for the second time today. Well, big pack. double play, boo. Next offering is in for a strike. In the air, out towards left center. Alvarez makes the grab. Runner tags from third. Row home, not in time. The run scores, and they lead by two. They had a chance to enter. Don't know what's going to happen, and fortunately, you make the pitch, you get the out, and everyone has a big sigh of relief. Close one here today, and your final 5-4. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout for Chris Singleton. Nigel Beal stands in with two away as he takes a ball. No score, just getting started, top of the first. Swing and a miss. And it's one and one. Nice warm day here. Good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about... Ah, that ends the inning, so we take a break.
Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. And strike. Yeah, just goes about his business. Gets a lot of ground balls when they put it in play. And just loves being out there. And as for the cologne, makes him pitch better, he believes. I always thought cologne made me smell better. Mookie Betts up next for the Dodgers. The Dodgers yet to pick up a hit here. Now a screamer into the outfield. Mullins puts it away, and that is that. Play for the Dodgers, Nigel Beal. And he grounds one to the right side. Estrada to first. Play is made, two out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Now And he pops up the bunt. One away. One and two. And time called at the plate. Maybe trying to slow things down here in a crucial spot. And a pitch. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Line drive, base hit! Alvarez whips it in quickly. Rudder stops at second. And the first two reach to start the inning. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. Run, extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us. Good eye right there. Come on, baby. See it? Grab it. And here it comes. This is inside. Three and two now. Three balls. Vargas at first, one gone. Cold strike three on the fastball. And that ran back over the inner half. That was just a beautiful fastball. Beal. He's got the power but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. Clearly didn't want to mess with them right there, so I think now it makes that, sense to play the numbers game here. in this spot. First and third, as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really show. Here's the third baseman, Nigel Beal. Nigel Beal. First pitch, oh, just no. misses. Hey, we're pacing up there. And a good eye there. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. That pitch gets the corner and a count two and one. Right here. Let's go, kid. And that's oh. outside. Shohei Otani in the on deck circle. And there's Thank ball four. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over now at first it. base is going to have a the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0 1. Next pitch has popped up. He pulls it down. Ball game. And the Astros salvage the finale of this three game. 
just about set to go now. And today's starting pitcher, Michael Kopech. And Singy, that may be his name, but the strikeout is his game. Well, Brewing, I can tell you've been working on that one, but yes, you are right. This guy's strikeout per nine, over 11. I mean, that's just getting it done. There are a lot of strikeouts in that other lineup, and when you look at what he's able to do, man, it's going to be a fun one to watch today. And takes low for ball one. Let's go now, one time. On a line, base hit. Make a turn, pick up the ball. Way to drive that one. Didn't exactly square that one up, but sometimes you don't have to. That's one of those things where, as a hitter, you kind of feel like you were doing upstairs. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. They say you win. Two ball, one straight. Next pitch is outside. Three balls and a strike. And deals. That one misses. So a lead off walk. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want takes off. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. Not in time. He's safe. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. Winging his first time. Tap back up the middle, knocks it down, but the throw to first gets him easily, and that's the first down. Here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. And that'll load the bases. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. So bases loaded. Right-hander kicks, deals. Towards first, dives, but it's off his glove. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. He went up there and got it. With two strikes, I'm not going to leave this in the end. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. So two yeah. balls and no strikes. Singy, one of the things that's interesting is that guys really don't worry about swing and miss from an offensive standpoint anymore. So when you see somebody who contacts the ball like this, do you think of that as plus value? Absolutely. If he's doing damage now, if he's yeah, rolling he's over and, and grounding out, no then bad. it's a different story. No, but yeah, if he can put... Roy, back to work. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. Hey, see it. Hey, drive it. Here we go. Next pitch wait, wait. misses way outside. A little bit low. Here's a 2 1. Hey, your pitch, your pitch right here. Big stock center field. Find the ball, find the ball, find the ball. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. Rivas, two hits and four at bats during yesterday's ball game. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for a second. Strike in there. Low throw, and he can't dig it out. Really nice swipe a second right there. He knew he had to get a really nice swing in his last at bat. Shot a line drive into center field. Pitch misses, 1-0. and oh.
Vargas over at second. Freeman at first, two out of the inning. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Phillips makes the catch, and that'll do it. You got a lot of miles in the journey against that other team, but it all starts with the first game, and you can set the tone, position yourselves, set up your bullpen, got everybody fresh and ready to go when you're in the driver's seat. We'll see if they can continue that momentum in tomorrow's game. And this is a guy you go to. Melton brings it in for the third out. The pitch. Pop up here, third base side. Brings it in, and that is that. One hit in the two outs. Tapped softly on the ground. Zips it to first. That's the third out. And the Mets go down one, two, three. Teams in the game right now, there is going to be the slug, no question about it. But the really good offensive teams combine slug with more contact, oh. with less swing and miss. See it, drive. Let's go, right here. One down, base is empty. Rips one to right. Tucker hauls it in, two away. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself well, it's about the process. He did. Left-hand batter waits. On the ground to third. Tosses to first. And that is that. Mets strand one. They trail it here, 2 nothing. Ball. Two. One and two. Okay, one time, right now. That's inside. Oh. Well, he's so great about oh, hitting the ball the right. other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have okay. as much outside plate coverage. But why to kick the pitch? Now a high fly ball out to left center. And makes the grab. Two down. This one, you get to a certain point where each pitcher is trying to outdo the other, go a little bit deeper into the ball game. And for these guys, it really came down to a few key at bats. This was a fun one to watch. Two nothing, your final here in this one. From the game last night. Maybe. Ground ball, left side. Throw on to Freeman. Two away. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. First offering, misses the mark. One ball, no strike. Try to get him to chase on the change up that time. No Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, he's going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. And a foul ball makes the count two and one. Hey, one time, right now. And he deals. All three. Freeman stands at first with one out. Hey, he hangs it, you bang it, kid. Here you go. And he walked him. Now, this was a story we were paying attention to before the game. This offense booth, it's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. Out to short. Lindor over to McNeil. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. I promise you, there are guys that get to in the field. Bounce to third. Beal. Over to second for one. On to first. Double play. 
So two away with nobody on. And now Nigel Beal. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Beal, 22 years old. And he's been on a good run at the plate, hitting over 300 in his last 10 games. Next offering is down low, and it's two and one. Come on, kid, get on for us. Here we go. And that one is inside. Shohei Otani waiting to bat for the Dodgers. And a 3 1 on the way. And now it's filled up. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy. Oh. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable at the plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. In for a strike, and it's a full count. Next pitch has popped up, and the infield fly is called. Lace down the line. This looks like extra bases. Rodriguez around third. He'll score, and they lead by two. Safely into second. He's got a double. <laughs> Bottom of the seventh, and now Nigel Beal. This guy makes great contact. One of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate. There's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time, and that produces solid contact consistently. And no one can get there. Around first, digging for two. And he's there with a leadoff double. Everything came together for him. High fastball, even a little above the zone, but such a good job of staying tall on the backside, getting that barrel there to meet it just in time. I'll tell you what, it's not easy to do. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. With the power he has, he can hit a home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. Runner takes off. Squares and gets it down the left side. Sends it across the first, but the runner scores from third. Thought they had a shot at him at the plate. Well, the safety squeeze can be tough to defend. One and two now. Bounced out to short. Throw on to Freeman, and the Mets go one, two, three. Three up, three down for him there. Home half of inning number eight. They say it went. No ball. One strike. Next pitch is outside. And that's in the dirt. The 2 2 on the way. And now the count filled up three and two. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. 
Well, a good day for the on-base percentage right there. Walk now number three, and the free bags keep on coming. But a nice job of attacking the hitters, being very efficient. And this is what you want to do. You want to come in, and you want to close things out as quickly as possible. One-run game here today. Your final score, 7-6. to six. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout. But one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. He caught it behind his back. Gathers and throws, and very nicely done for the out. What? Runners on the corners with one gone. Nigel Beal steps to the plate for the Dodgers. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. Intentional pass coming. Base is now loaded, though it does set up a force at every base. These fans don't like to see that because they showed up to watch him swing the bat. Below Homer in his first at bat. Here's a 1 1. Swung on, belted. Back there. Go All right, let's go, Yepes. Grand slam. Oh, my. An absolute blast to left. It's his eighth home run of the year. It's 5-1. Listen to these fans. This place is absolutely buzzing right now. You can feel the energy all the way up here in our broadcast. You can forget about having any success against it. And he hits a ground ball right side. McNeil. The throw to first. Play made. That ends the inning. Mez Ravine, bottom of the inning, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Nigel Beal. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. Gorzelski back to work. Swing and a foul straight back. You know, these Dodgers do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of it. The numbers say their chase rate, or swings and pitches outside the zone, is under 25%, and I think that's a big reason why they're scoring runs. 1-1 one, one now. On the ground, right side, and foul ball. By not chasing out of the zone, they're getting good pitches to hit. When you can do that, you have a much better chance to square up the baseball and do damage like they have so far. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. No, oh, you know that's got to be very frustrating for this guy. And he drops it down the third baseline. And he barehands it. The throw, but he beats it out. And the leadoff man is on with an infield single. Nearly a highlight reel play at third, but the bare hand get the out. Great effort to make that play as close as it was, though. Be very enjoyable. Get into the next city, get a nice meal, get settled in at the hotel, but come back ready to play in the next game. See if you can continue this momentum. And this one finishes with a final of 8-1. to one. For Chris Singleton and our entire...